In iOS 15, Apple introduced Focus. With Focus, you can create modes such as working, reading, exercise, sleep, and personal. So it's basically a do not disturb on steroids. This video will walk you through everything you need to know. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, and I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Focus mode resides in the Settings app. To access it, you'll tap on the Settings app, you'll find Focus, tap on that, and you'll see that Apple has populated uh, personal, work, driving, do not disturb, and sleep. If you want to have access to more modes, hit the plus sign and you can create your own. If you want to share access across all your devices, you'll want to make sure that you turn on share across devices. You can activate and manage the new focuses through the control center, which I'll be showing you next. When creating a focus, your device will use on-device intelligence and data gathered about your past activity to suggest apps and people you might want to allow notifications from. And let me show you, let's go into the control center and show you how you can create and edit a focus mode from inside the control center. To access focus mode from the control center, you'll want to swipe down from the upper right corner of the screen and then you'll want to tap on the word focus. This will bring you into the focus modes and you can either choose to start one by tapping on it or you can click on the plus sign at the bottom to create a new focus. I'll go ahead and click on the plus sign and then that brings me in to the focus modes themselves. I'm going to go ahead and create a personal focus mode so I'm going to tap on personal and here you can read about what this uh, focus mode will do. It will allow notifications from important people and apps and silence the rest across all your devices. It will also let others know you are away with a status that says that you have notification silence. We'll go ahead and tap on next. And here you can see there's a little bit of a glitch in iOS 15 because the words are a little goofy at the top. If you kind of just pull down on the screen, that will go away and you're able to see um, everything that it says clearly. So here, uh, it's pulling people from my favorite sections. So I can go ahead and choose to remove all of them. I can leave them if I want, or I can click on the plus sign to add more people. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, remove some of them and just leave uh, a couple. And let me add one more. And I'll tap on done. And so I've added two people to my allowed section. And below that, you'll see calls from everyone. And that is grayed out. Um, but I think you need to tap on that and say calls from no one and then tap on done. So the only group of people it's going to allow calls from is the people that you have allowed. So I'm going to go ahead and tap allow. This brings you into the apps that are allowed to send you notifications and you can add an app by hitting the plus sign, selecting the app that you want to add and then go ahead and tapping done. Um, Apple makes some suggestions, and in this case, it suggests that you leave messages on. And then below that, it has time-sensitive notifications. And this is built into the app. Developers have to um, allow that. And so if you have this switch uh, toggled on, um, apps that are you know, that want to send you time sensitive notifications can do so. So maybe you have an upcoming appointment and you've added the calendar app, then if it's a time sensitive, you're going to get notified of that uh, notification. And so when we're all done, we'll tap on allow 
and then your focus is ready to use. So this is the area where you can make edits if you need to, um, and I'll show you how to get back to this area. So we've already allowed the people and we've allowed uh, the apps that we're gonna use. And below that, you'll see some other options, focus status, and right now that is on. And so when someone sends you a message, it's gonna tell them that you have notifications silenced. You may not want people to see that, and if you don't, go ahead and just turn share focus status off. I'm going to tap on personal in the upper left hand corner, and I'm going to come to the home screen option. And here on the home screen, you can hide notification badges that are on your apps so that you don't see them when you're in focus mode. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those on. You can also choose to show specific pages uh, on your home screen. So for right now, I'm going to turn that on so that you can see that. And then you can choose the pages that you want to be able to see on your home screen. Maybe you don't want to see any, but I'm just going to select a couple that I can see and I'm going to tap on done. So when you're in this particular focus mode, those are the pages that are going to show when you're in focus mode. The rest of the pages are not. I'm going to come back up to personal and tap to go back. And now I'm going to come to the lock screen. While you're in personal mode, you can choose to dim your lock screen by toggling that switch on. You can also, if you choose, show silenced notifications on your lock screen. So they'll be silenced, you won't get a beep, but you'll still be able to see them. So you can decide whether or not you want to toggle either of these switches on. I'm going to tap the personal to come back. And below that, we have you can schedule or automate. So I'm going to tap on that. And so you can schedule uh, your personal mode by time, location, or if you open an app, or you can turn it on by just tapping on it from the control center, which I'll show you in a minute. You can also turn on smart activation, uh, which will automatically turn personal on at relevant times throughout the day based on signals like your location, your app usage, and some other things. I'll let you decide whether or not you want to play with that, but just know that you can go in and you can schedule a time to automatically turn it on so it will turn on automatically at those specific times that you schedule. You can turn it on by a location so maybe you want to turn it on when you're at home but then you have to remember that while you're at home it's going to be on all the time. You can also turn it on by say an address. So maybe when you go to the doctors, you want to turn on so that you don't receive notifications when you're in the doctor's office. And then all you would have to do is come up and search for the address of your doctors and then it would automatically turn it on for you when you arrive at your doctor's office. Let me tap cancel and I'm going to tap back. And so those are some of the ways that you can have um, focus modes turn on for you. I'm going to go ahead and tap cancel. And if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see that you can also delete a focus. So let me come back and show you how you can get back to these modes, how to turn them on, and how you can edit them. The simplest way to activate a focus is by turning it on in the control center. And you can also disable and swap between focus modes. When a focus is activated, the control center will display the name and the icon you've chosen for that mode. This way, you know at a glance that a focus is turned on. In addition, focus modes display on your lock screen. So, if I come back in so that you can see my lock screen, you can see the little icon is displayed, letting me know that I'm in personal focus mode. You can activate and auto reply for some focus modes like driving. In addition, you can customize the message. 
the previous do not disturb while driving feature has been folded into focus modes. So if we swiped on from the upper right corner to come into the control center and we tap on focus, we can see that if we tap on the little three dots next to any focus, it's going to give us some settings to go into to change anything we'd like to. So let's go into the three dots next to driving, tap on settings, and now you can see that we have a couple of choices here. You can uh, turn the focus mode on. You can allow notifications for certain people if you'd like to. You can also have a focus status turned on that lets people know that you have notifications silenced, and then you have auto reply. And so you can come in and choose who you want to auto reply to. I have all contacts chosen. And then if you tap on the auto reply message, you can go ahead and change that message to pretty much say whatever you want it to. So you can get a little quirky if you'd like to when you're letting people know that you're driving. I'm going to tap on the driving in the upper left hand corner and then you can either have it turn on automatically. If you have CarPlay, you can turn that uh, toggle switch on and when you plug your car in it will automatically uh, turn on driving mode and you can also do it manually or when your car connects to Bluetooth. So those are the choices you have from inside of the driving mode. I'm going to go ahead and tap on driving in the upper left hand corner and then focus to come back into the main focus area. And so as you can see, this brings you actually back into the settings area. And then you can tap on any of these focuses to change, you know, whatever settings you'd like to from within the focus area. So now let's go ahead and come back to the control center and tap on focus. And then if you tap on do not disturb the three dots, you'll get some options. You can choose to do it for an hour until this evening evening or until I leave this location. If you tap on settings, it'll take you into the settings area of that particular focus. The same applies for personal. If I tap on the three dots, I'll get those same settings um, or you can go into the settings area and make it more personalized so that it turns on when you're in a location. Same with work and driving. So that's how you would go ahead and turn these focus modes on or off. And if I come into the personal settings area, if I want to delete a focus mode, I just need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and delete that focus mode. And I can go ahead and start over and create a new one. If you'd like to create a custom focus, you'll hit the plus sign. And if you tap on custom, you'll have some options where you get to choose your, the colors, the icons that you use, and then it'll walk you through how to create a custom focus. As you can see, focus mode is an advanced do not disturb, which lets you do so much more. And when set up correctly, you'll be able to focus on the things that are most important to you. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. Also, let me know how you'll be using focus mode. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.